this is the typical parlor. Uh, I think on the as you, as you go up the stoop into the um, what appears to be the front entrance of the building. There's a typical uh, uh, rooms off to either side that were um, probably lounges and um, living living room type spaces originally. Uh, this space is a little bit more decayed, but uh, still not bad. Uh, here's an area of water intrusion. The village came in and uh, shored it up at some point uh, to uh, uh, keep the building from imploding there. This is a, the typical uh, hallway on the on the uh, ground floor. Uh, this is the area below the, the what's called the chapel that was probably where their dining hall was. This is a typical classroom, and this is a typical of all the rooms. The living rooms are all, where the where the uh, 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 where the kids resided were are all about the same size as this. And with a window, typically, and this is pretty much uh, of the same, you know, ex exemplifies the status of of the rooms throughout the building. This is the grand stair. These are some of the detailing that you can see on the uh, cat, the wrought iron of the stair, which is in excellent shape. We walked up and down the stair, and it felt completely safe. This is the chapel. Unfortunately, the chapel is in really bad shape. Um, the organs prop is a total loss in all in all in all of our um uh budgets we included demolishing the chapel and but but saving the stained glass and preserving it uh, and i think we had an allowance for restoring it as well okay this is an area and this is an interesting picture because this there must have been a terrible leak here over a period of time and then basically what happens is that the wood beams rot and collapse under the weight of the radiator that's at the window side. But I'm standing right here, and we felt perfectly safe standing right on the edge of this hole. Now, obviously, I wouldn't recommend uh, non-professionals to go in and look at this kind of thing, but but it, it, it shows you the kind of state. So that's bad, but it's a limited area, and it can be fixed. So anyway. Same here, water intrusion, the plaster in the ceiling, which, by the way, all this, the white plaster compound was all tested negative for asbestos. Typical residential hall upstairs. Again, another area, and you can see the radiator hanging there on the top of the picture. Another hallway. This is the, another one of the stairs in the wings. This, unfortunately... Uh, uh, need, it was not cleaned out at the time. And again, here, this is a little bit better. You can see the damage to the bricks on the left arch and the window was boarded up and that kind of decay that occurs with constant water intrusion at those dormers. And uh, this is what happens when uh, it's neglected. And again, This is the outside, the stairs. We also figured in the adaptive reuse to rebuild these stairs as a means of egress. This is the port cochere, I believe. No, it's maybe this is the side of the main entrance. Yeah, I think that's it. So that's that's pretty much the state of the building right now. I would, these pictures are from, from about a year ago, a little bit less. So demolition, uh, to clarify the scope of works, secure existing building 